Hi, Calvary Kids. Thanks for joining us today for another lesson on the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, this is a really great lesson that I actually uh, have a lot of personal experience with, so I'm excited to share that with you guys today. Um, I hope you are having a great Sunday or Monday or Wednesday or whenever you're watching this. I hope you're having a great day. I uh, know that I miss you guys and I pray for you guys and uh, I can't wait to see you guys uh, next. So thanks again. So as I said earlier, we're learning about Sermon on the Mount. It's Jesus' most famous sermon, and it's called the Sermon on the Mount because he stood up on a large hill or mountain to preach. And each week we're going to um, talk about a new portion of his sermon, which is really cool. Now, I don't know about you guys, but how many of you guys have ever seen Pastor Dan stand up on the stage and preach? Probably most of you, or you've either been walking by, or you've sat in on the service, or maybe you've seen a video of him doing it at home while you guys are all watching it as a family. And that's pretty cool. So that's what Jesus did. There was a large group of people, and he just got up on that mountain and started preaching. And the things that he preached are things that help us learn how to live our lives right. But not just right, how to live our lives after him, and how to be like him, and how to spread love and care and kindness. And so we've talked about the last couple times um, that, you know, we want to do two things, right? We want to love God and we want to love other people. Those are awesome things. They're positive. That's definitely what we want to do. And that's what the Sermon on the Mount is all about. But the portion we're learning about today is actually all about how God helps us calm our anger. Because it's not always easy to love other people and it's not always easy to show all of that love to God. Sometimes we get angry, and so today we're talking about how God can help us calm our anger. First, I want to tell you about a place where I feel calm. Um, I am actually kind of sitting in one of my spots that I call or that I feel calm at in my own house. Um, as you can see, maybe you've noticed I added some lights to my bookshelf. Super exciting. Um, but I love this spot in my apartment because it's got a seat right here and the bookshelf and I can just sit here and it's calm. I can close the door. I don't have to have the dog running in wild or, you know, I, I can't really hear anybody when I close the door. So I can just sit here and calm and it helps me, you know, feel calm when I'm in here. So I want to ask you, where's a place that you go to that helps you feel calm? Maybe you have a park nearby and going on a walk through the park helps you calm down and helps you, you know, focus on other things when you're anxious or angry or upset. Uh, maybe you have a place in your house. Maybe there's a toy room or a room where you can sit and, you know, play video games and it's calm or where you can sit and read like I have. Maybe it is outside in the backyard or maybe there's one of your favorite restaurants that you just love to go to and when you go you feel safe and you feel calm. Um, I know it's not really something we always think about, but I want you to think about what's the place where you feel calm. And today we're going to be in Matthew chapter 5, which is where the Sermon on the Mount starts. And um, it's awesome. I love it. And it's good to know that there are places that can help us feel calm. And when we're angry, there are things that God can help us do to calm that anger too. And so we're going to find out what Jesus says about anger in the Sermon on the Mount and what's written in the Bible. And as always, you know, I want to remind you guys the Bible is God's special book. And it's written so that we can know how to get help from him. That's what we're talking about today. And we can also ask him for help. So today we're going to see what Jesus said about anger. Because listen, everybody gets angry. Some people get, you might think, oh, well, they get more angry than anyone I've ever met. They're always yelling. Or you might think, oh, they've never been angry. I've never seen them upset. Everybody gets angry. It's normal. And so what do we do when we're angry, when we're feeling mad? The Bible can help show us what to do. A lot of times when we're feeling mad, we say some pretty angry or hurtful things. I'm sure you guys are just like me and, uh, you know, when you get upset or angry, you know, you say some things that can be really hurtful. Um, so let's think of some of those things that we've heard people say. And, you know, maybe you've said some of these. I've said some of these. You know, there's definitely some of these phrases have been said probably by everyone. Um, when you get angry, you can tell people, you say, I hate you. Maybe you said that to your parents, like, I hate you, mom and dad. Like, I don't like you. You're the worst. Um, maybe you have said, you know, in your anger, you're not funny or you're, you're not good at this or I'm better and you, you're, you shouldn't play this and I don't like you. Or maybe, you know, when you've been angry, you've said some mean things about yourself. 
And maybe you've said, wow, like, I'm the worst. Why should I be here? I don't want to be here. Or maybe you've just talked about, have you ever called anyone annoying? That seems really small. Like, to call someone annoying, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, right? Not as big of a deal as I hate you. But that can be a hurtful thing to say to someone, that they're annoying or that, that they're bugging you and you wish they weren't around. Angry words and phrases like that can really hurt people. And one of the ways that I want you guys to think of is imagine if we had a balloon. A nice balloon. Listen, I looked for a balloon. I promise I could not find one. I finally found this really small balloon. And um, it's part of like a water balloon set. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to use this. But uh, it was too small and I couldn't get to work. So imagine you have a balloon, right? And, you know, on what we said, imagine if angry words, the angry words that you say you know, they affect people. And so, you know, imagine there's just this regular balloon right here. And then what could you use to pop the balloon? You know, what could you use? You would just use like a pin or a knife or something to pop the balloon. Well, every time we say angry words, you know, it's like we're popping each other's balloons. So if I'm holding a balloon and Giovanna is holding a balloon, right? And I come over and I pop her balloon. It's not very nice. That's rude. Or if I'm holding a balloon and Mr. Nathan comes over and pops my balloon. When we say angry things to each other, that's what we're doing. Is It's like we're popping each other's balloons. You know, has, has anyone ever said angry words to you? Maybe they've told you to shut up or they've told you to, you know, not talk and don't move and, you know, you always ruin things. Has anyone said that to you? And sometimes, you know, angry words... I'd, so, I'd say more than sometimes, they can really affect us. And sometimes we think angry words are okay as long as we don't really hurt anybody, right? As long as we just say them, like, man, I hate you, I want to beat you up, you're the worst, but you don't actually beat anybody up, maybe you think that's okay. Like, you don't actually hit your brother, but you tell your brother that you hate him and you wish he wasn't there and you, you wish you could punch him. But actually, here's what Jesus says about using angry words. And it's in Matthew 5, verse 21. It says, you have heard that it was said to people long ago, you shall not murder. And anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to, to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, raka, which um, is an Aramaic term of like anger, is answerable to the court. And anyone who says you fool will be in the dangers of the fire of hell. So basically what's that saying what that saying is Jesus takes angry words seriously. It's not just something you say and then you move on and you forget about it and it doesn't matter anymore. Angry words are serious. The Bible says angry words can be as serious as murder. The fact is they may not physically hurt people but they do hurt them, right? You know, if I if I went up and I popped Mr. Nathan's balloon and it wouldn't actually hurt him. I didn't do anything to Mr. Nathan. But it hurt him. It hurt his heart. You know, it was kind of like emotional hurt. You can experience that with words of anger too. When someone says something angry to you or they're, they're, someone yells in anger and they say mean things to you, you know, we, we have feelings with that. And the Bible talks about how, you know, it may not physically hurt people, but it does hurt them. Acting out in anger can really hurt people, and sometimes it feels like we don't have a choice. It feels like you're so angry, if you don't say something, you're going to explode, right? But God says that we have another choice. God helps us calm our anger. So let's see what the Bible says um, about this, you know. God wants us to let go of our anger with his help. And here's what Jesus said about letting go of anger. Um, it's the next few verses in chapter 5, verse 23. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and then remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar first, and go and be reconciled to them. Then come and offer your gift. So what, what, God, what Jesus is saying in the Sermon on the Mount about anger is, you know, if somebody is angry with you or you're with angry with someone and there's some tension between you and somebody else the bible says don't worry about 
you know, do, leave your gift at the altar. Just wait. Just wait. Leave it and come back because you need to go make it right. Jesus cares about us and he cares about you and he cares about me. He cares about your family. He cares about your friends. And Jesus doesn't want us to hurt each other. He doesn't want us to hurt each other physically and he doesn't want us to hurt each other emotionally either. And that's why, you know, Jesus takes it so seriously when we say angry words to each other. But Jesus has to help let go of those things is to talk about them. To go to the person and talk about them. Next time you get really upset because your little sister or your older sister is doing something that's really bugging you and they keep doing it over and over again, go talk to your sister or talk to your mom or dad or your teacher. Talk to them about your anger. Don't let it boil up and and don't say angry words and don't go around popping people's balloons, right? God can help us. God can help us calm down our anger. We don't have to go around being angry. We don't have to explode with mean words and harsh phrases. You know, if, if, if we saw how hurt somebody was going to be after we said something, we wouldn't say it, right? If you knew that that time you said you hated your mom or dad really hurt them and you saw them crying later, you wouldn't say it if you knew. Angry words are a really big deal to God, even as big as murder. And, you know, we see that anger can really consume us and be all the focus in our lives. But holding in our angry words can be hard, or right? It's, it's hard to reach peaceful agreements. It's hard to, you know, mend bridges with somebody. And that's why I want to tell you guys, you know, the Bible says to talk about it. Talk about it to God. Talk about it to your parents. God can help us calm our anger, and we don't have to do it alone. When we want to say angry words or do angry things, God can help us make peace instead. And I used to be really angry um, when I was growing up, um, even when I was older than you guys. I used to be really angry with my family because we were going through a hard time, and I was just full of so much anger and hate towards my parents. And I did not like them. I didn't want to hang out with them. I didn't want to talk to them. And I let it kind of boil up inside of me and I said some really angry, hurtful things. And even though I I didn't fight my parents physically, I didn't throw punches, I wasn't kicking, I didn't break things, my words hurt. It was like I had gone around and popped everybody's balloons. But God can help us calm that anger when, when we get into our calm spot. We can think about God. We can talk about him to our, to our parents or to a teacher or to our friends to help us calm down. And remember that God wants us to love everybody, even when someone is really bugging us. Even when someone makes us really angry, he wants us to show love to them, right? Love God and love others. Those are two big things. So I just wanted to uh, kind of share that quick message with you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I know the like light has gone down because the sun set as I was talking, which I wasn't expecting. So it looks a little dark now. But thank you guys for watching. And um, I'm going to be back next week with another aspect of the Sermon on the Mount. You guys are awesome. You have any questions? You even want to tell me about anything? Maybe you want to talk about a time that you were angry or someone was angry at you. I'm always available. Talk to your parents. They can call me. We can hang out. We can video chat. We can talk about whatever you guys want. I miss you guys. Love you guys. And see you next week.